Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. My name is Barbara. I just wanted to send you greetings from whatever time you are watching this video. I just wanted to share some uh, words of inspiration and hopefully uh, this devotional that I was able to study earlier today, I got some inspiration from it and I hope that you get inspiration and encouragement from it as well. Uh, this devotional that I read was coming, it's from an online ministry and it's, and it's called uh, inspiration ministries and the title of this devotion is responsible it was posted to their website inspiration ministries on the 27th of january of this year and the focal scripture is coming from proverbs 27 23 and that proverbs it says be sure you know the condition of your flocks Give careful attention to your herds, for riches do not endure forever, and a crown is not secure for all generations. So the Bible we know is filled with warnings, and this one is coming from a man named King Solomon. And Solomon we know is well known. Uh, he was very knowledgeable, and he is also a very wise man. The Lord said in 1 Kings 3.12 that he would give Solomon a wise and discerning heart so that there would never have been anyone like Solomon, nor would there ever be. So we can have the assurance that these words of warning that we're reading, they are coming from a reliable and a credible person and we can believe what he is saying. So this devotional, it starts off, it starts off by saying that we can easily develop misdirected priorities. We can waste our energies if we continue to focus on the wrong things. Now, I understand that when Solomon wrote this, when he wrote these verses, it was a world of agriculture. There were flocks of, of, of sheep and goats, there was animals, there was herds, there was tending to farms and fields, but we can still keep in mind that the biblical principles that were taught back then by King Solomon, that they are still applied to our lives today. So Solomon reminds us when he says to be sure we know the condition of our flocks that even we, even though we have many responsibilities, we have obligations, we have families, we have jobs, we are still called to be diligent in everything that we are responsible for. But we have to remember that all the material things and the items of this world are temporary and they do not and they will not last. We know this because Jesus teaches us this principle. If we read in Matthew chapter 6 verses 19 through 21, Jesus says, Do not store up for yourselves treasures on earth where moths and vermin destroy but where thieves break in and steal but store up for yourselves treasures in heaven where moths and vermin do not destroy and where thieves do not break in and steal for where your treasure is there your heart will be also so we have to remember, we have to be intentional in how we invest our physical, our mental, our emotional, and our spiritual resources into the things that are going to last for all time. And the things that we invest in, are we investing in the eternal or are we investing in the temporary? So then we have a question. The question comes up, what is it that lasts for all time? What is it that is going to last forever? Isaiah 40 verse 8 says, The grass withers and the flowers fall, but the word of our God endures forever. 1 Peter 1.25 echoes that thinking when it says, For all people are like grass, and all their glory is like the flowers of the field. The grass withers and the flowers fall, but the word of the Lord endures forever. In Matthew 24.35, Jesus 
says that heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will never pass away. You have to remember what the word says. We constantly must remember that all earthly things are temporary and all earthly things will eventually pass away. This is true of everything, everything that is here on earth. All of our honors, all of our achievements, our possessions that we've accumulated, everything that we feel that we've worked hard for, anything coming from this place here on earth is temporary, it's fleeting, and it will not last. So that may lead to us questioning and maybe saying, why am I working so hard at a job that is eventually going to end? Do I have to be a good planner for the future in a place I will not be in but for a short period of time? If everything is going to eventually perish, do I need to take on the responsibility of caring and nurturing for the things that are around me? Hmm. We have to remember to remind ourselves to have a balanced attitude toward the things of this world. Even though everything is temporary, all the things that we have are still gifts from our Father God. And we are called to be good stewards over the resources of, we, of living in this life that God has given us and that he has blessed us with. The late evangelist uh, Billy Graham, he said, when we see the world as a gift from God, we will do our best to take care of it and use it wisely instead of poisoning or destroying it. In Genesis 2.15, it says, The Lord God took the man and put him in the Garden of Eden to work it and take care of it. Psalms 24, 1 says, the earth is the Lord's and everything in it, the world and all who live in it. And in Revelation 4, 11, the apostle John says, you are worthy, our Lord and God, to receive glory and honor and power for you created all things and by your will they were created and have their being. Just because something is temporary, just because something is not going to last forever, that does not mean that it does not have any value. That does not mean that it is not important. That does not mean that it is useless. God has given us the responsibility of taking care of everything that he has created because everything is important. Everything is has some sort of use. Everything that he has created has some sort of value. If we take good care of what he has given us now in this present time that we are in, we can have hope that these temporary things can help to provide for us in our future times. If we don't take care of the things that we have been blessed with or take firm hold of the responsibilities given to us in this present time, it can lead to us worrying. It can lead to us having anxiety for what our future prospects may bring to us. God gives us responsibility in taking care of the resources that he has so graciously provided us with. We can be thankful for all of the gifts that he has given to us and for everything that he has blessed us with. Let's not allow the material possessions or the praises from people dominate our hearts or dominate our minds, but instead we can allow God to evaluate for us what our priorities in this life should be. 
We have a responsibility to take care of what God has created and not, and excuse me, and we need to seek to be good stewards and good caretakers of this earth because it is his. No matter that some of the things, um, excuse me, no matter that all of the things will be temporary and that all of the things of this world are going to fade away we can stay encouraged and we can be careful and we need to be diligent about our work, be diligent about our families and the way that we take care of our obligations and be cautious about what we put to be the most important things in our lives. We cannot forget that we can always go to God in prayer and we can always ask him to help us to be good and responsible stewards over the resources that he has given and blessed us with and provided for us while we are here living in this time just want to say thank you again for taking the time to watch this video. Uh, this devotional again gave me some encouragement and inspiration and I hope that uh, it gives that to you as well. Uh, I do pray that you still remain encouraged, stay prayerful, think of each other and remain uh, in prayer for each other and I will see you next time. I love you. Take care. Bye-bye and be blessed.